See, if you observe the first quality, being nice, it's common sense that we get what we give. If you're nasty with someone, of course, you'll invite the same. But if you're nice with someone or something, it'll be mutual, mostly. Let's suppose you're nice with someone, but they're nasty to you. Maybe short term, there will be an impact. But long term, you will win over. So the first quality is being nice. To be successful, long term long-term perspectives. The second quality is being forgiving. See, if you're not forgiving, if you hold the grudge, it's like drinking poison and expecting other person to die. So for sake of one's own peace of mind, forgiving is prerequisite. It's not for sake of others. Someone can be nasty to you, but it's not for, for their sake that you're forgiving them. It's for your own sake, for your own mental peace so that you can remain centered and go ahead with your life in an optimistic way if possible. And the third quality is ability to be provocative. Having said that, you mentioned about forgiving. Having said that, it's always important that we make others taste their own medicine. If not, they'll seem to take advantage of you and you'll be a pushover who wants that, who wants to be in that position. So don't let others take advantage of you. And the fourth quality is being clear. No matter what, if we are clear with what we want and what our self-interests are, of course, we can do wonders with this amazing opportunity called life. In fact, confusion, the opposite of clarity, will only derail us, it will demotivate us. So being clear is again prerequisite and one of the fantastic qualities which are prerequisite for success. So these four qualities, if you keep them in mind and start applying them right from now, success is all yours. Definitely short term there will be some challenges. But on the long run, it's going to do wonders. And again, as I said, this is not some random philosophy. In fact, philosophy also teaches the same. These qualities are also based on a mathematical model, as I mentioned previously, and they have been proven time and again based on several simulations. In fact, you can find more information on Game Theory of Prisoner's Dilemma on uh, using various AI sources, and you can feel free to get back to me personally through me, so that we can have a candid conversation regarding the same and see uh, like how you can make maximum use of these four qualities to enhance your life on a personal and professional level. All the very best.